Good morning, fourth graders. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday morning. Um, today's lesson in arithmetic is about area. Now, this is brand new to you. Now, last week, we learned about perimeter, and we know the perimeter is the distance around an object, the outside of an object, and we learned some formulas for that perimeter of a rectangle it is um, P equals two times L plus two times W. Perimeter of a square was four times S, four times S, which is the side. And so today we're not going to learn any formulas about area, but we're just going to kind of introduce it and make sure that when you are doing your papers and you have those formulas that you are doing it step by step, just like I showed you on the video. I've checked some of your papers from yesterday, from the last couple of days and some of you did not do that. So make sure you write the formula and then you do it step by step and have your answer at the bottom. I will take off some points for that next week if it is not done correctly because you need to get in the habit of using that formula or that recipe because you will be doing it for a couple years from now on. So, but let's talk about area. Now, if I was going to lay down some carpet in my home, then I would lay it in the area. Carpet, is, I mean, sorry, area is the measure of the surface area inside of a closed region. So say right here, this is my room. Okay, the outside right here, this would be the perimeter, but the inside is the area where I would lay the carpet down at. And so today we're just gonna, this is just, we're just gonna get our feet wet today with area. We're gonna talk about how to find it by dividing it into, into square units. And so you will see on your page on number one and number two, kind of looks a little bit like this, not exactly, but so one way to find the area is just to divide it into square units, which has already been done for you, and then just count up the square units. So if I count this up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, my area would be 12 square units. You want to make sure you always put square units there also. So 12 square units. And so again, I have a figure. It's divided into square units. So let's count the, those square units here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer would be five square units. And so you will be doing this in your book. For numbers one and number two, you're just counting those little square units and writing however many they are underneath them. Now I thought also, it's been a while since we've done a division problem together, so let's go on and move to number 4a, and let's do this one together. So here we go, we have four, and so we have 42, so you know that we would estimate by four, and so we would say, how many times can four go into nine? And four can go into nine. So we would put one X and that would be two times. Two times two is four. Two times four is eight. Borrow and subtract. And then 13 minus four. And um, 13 minus four is nine. Bring down my two. So again, we're asking ourselves, now remember when we have two numbers down here, we, add, we look at the first number. So how many times will four go into nine? Again, it would be two. We multiply, we get 84. Borrow again and subtract, and then bring down our number. So now we have two numbers here. So we look at the first one. How many times will four go into eight? Again, it's two. So two times two is four. Two times four is eight. Subtract and we get zero. So our answer is 222. Now. If I do this for you on the video, it's a freebie, so make sure that you get that on your paper. And so make sure, today is just um, on the back side of your paper, you just have a review over the shapes and then a couple division problems, some multiplication there. At the bottom, at number seven, you are finding the perimeter of those polygons, so make sure that you are using those formulas. For a rectangle, P equals two times L plus two times W, and then for a square, P equals four times S. I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.